So I didn't do an intro. I'm literally wearing the same makeup look, the same outfit from the video that I uploaded last. Like what's the point of doing an intro? I'm literally sitting in my room and I recorded these videos one after the other and I ain't go anywhere. I didn't do anything. So no intro today. So but from the title you can tell it's all about my current favorite makeup products. I felt I feel like I feel like it's been a while since I did one of those and I am loving a lot of newer stuff to my collection and I personally like looking at videos like these. I love, I'm a product junkie. I love products. So I feel like it could be informative to you. So let's hop into it. So I have all these right here and these to talk about. So let me not waste time and get right to it. The first product I want to talk about is the Mehran Makeup Skin Prep Pro. This product is Balm AF. It's like a toner. Um, you can apply it with, your, with cotton, with a cotton round or something like that. I like using my fingers to do it. Just tap it in the areas where I get oily. This works really well. It's not a product I would recommend you use every day, but when you have this special occasion or you're gonna be in a lot of heat and you have oily skin type and things like that and you want your makeup to like really last, this is perfect to use before you're actually going with any primers or anything like that. It's made for stage makeup and things like that. So it really works well. Using this in conjunction with the BH Cosmetics Foundation Primer and Anti-Shine. Yo, can I talk? Anti-Shine, Anti-Brilliance. <laughs> These names be so long for one product. This, this foundations, this, these primers with this is a bomb AF. If you want like a matte, matte, matte as fuck, makeup look if you're extremely oily you're gonna love love these products i've i've used them and it's too matte for me it's way too matte for me but it really really works well in conjunction with the bh cosmetics so this is like an honorable mention do not sleep on bh cosmetics products they're inexpensive and they're pretty 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 good they work really really well the next primer i want to speak about is the milk makeup hydro grip primer i love this primer this primer um it has a gripping technology to it so when you apply it on your skin it leaves your skin tacky so it's gonna grip your makeup and make your makeup last all day and it's not like matte like it said it's hydro so it adds hydration to your skin and i love that i do not like my makeup looking extremely extremely matte i like my makeup looking like my skin so i like primers that have some sort of um hydrating effect to it and this is really nice it's not gonna leave your face like glowy or anything like that like any any skin type can use this but it is really nice so i love using the milk hydro grip um primer in conjunction with the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch primer okay these names this primer is like bomb af it's a soft matte primer and it's just what it says it's soft matte it's gonna give you a matte finish and i feel like it has some sort of blurring technology to it as well like it blurs your skin it doesn't make your skin overly matte so i love that and another one a dupe to this to me is like the nyx angel veil primer this one it's cheaper and it works just as well i go back and forth with both of them they're just really nice they keep your skin really nice a nice soft matte finish which i totally totally love i love the way it makes my makeup look um at the end of the day okay so um this is an eyeshadow primer it's the milani eyeshadow primer and i love using this in my smile lines like around my my mouth area i do tend to have my foundation settled there at the end of the day and whenever i use this primer it doesn't happen so i love applying this to my smile lines and just tap that in with my fingers and i also apply it to my lids because my lids can get creasy and greasy <laughs> i have oily lids eyelids and it's actually meant for your eyelids but it works very well in areas where you get extremely shiny and have lines so if you're someone who, who's extremely oily maybe on your nose or wherever you could just tap that in in specific areas it's not something i think i would use all over my face just in strategic areas on your face you can use an eyeshadow primer to help your foundation from disappearing throughout the day and to help to just create this sort of waterproof barrier so that your foundation doesn't move and your oils does not come through too much so it just lasts pretty well this one is very inexpensive the milani one that's why i use it and it works really really well i have one foundation to speak about is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation i love this foundation so fucking much 
you hear me so fucking much <laughs> i feel like um this summer i haven't really been reaching for foundations as much i've been using more powder foundations um i kind of been in a rut with foundations because the way i like my foundation to look has changed over a period of time i do not like my foundations to look too matte so i like something that's going to give me more of a satin finish and i have a shit ton of foundation that i'm just just not using slowly uh, moving away from the extremely matte foundations and if i do have a matte foundation i like mixing it with something that's more hydrating to give me this satin finish but this l'oreal infallible foundation is just it is very very lightweight very 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 lightweight it's it gives you a nice coverage the coverage that i like it's i i feel like it's um a medium to full coverage you also get a very sheer coverage of it as well it's very light you hardly feel like if you're wearing anything on your skin whenever you're wearing this foundation and i find that because of the finish of the foundation it doesn't settle in my fine lines i don't i'm, I'm I don't end up at the end of the day seeing my foundation disappearing in the areas where I get really oily, which is my T-zone. My chin is extremely oily, so at the end of the day, I find the makeup is always almost gone on my chin. But when I use sort of satin finish foundations, that does not happen to me. And I love, love the, the end product of this foundation. And it also has sunscreen in it, and I have my shade in 510. It's a wonderful, wonderful foundation. So check it out, and it's drugstore, so you ain't got nothing to lose, sis. Nothing to lose. I have two concealers here that I fell in love with over the summer and to be honest these are the only two concealers I've used over this summer um, when I'm doing my makeup on a daily basis like for YouTube obviously you try to keep things fresh and you try to you know bring new products and show you different things but in my daily routine these are the two foundation the, the um sorry I have three concealers these are the three concealers I've been using First is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, 16 hour wear camo concealer. This is a perfect dupe to Tarte Shape Tape. It is perfect, it's full coverage, it stays, it hardly creases on me. Um, it's, a fun, it's a concealer that you have to work really, really quick with because it dries really, really fast as well. And they come in a ton of shades, so I'm pretty sure anyone can find this shade. I have this in three shades. Um, I love them and they're very inexpensive. It's only $5, okay? You can't go wrong with a, a concealer that's $5 and give you this bomb as full coverage. So this is a wonderful, wonderful con um, concealer. The other one is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. This one is more of a creamier formula. I find it very comparable to the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. It has this nice sort of creaminess to it. So I'll probably mix them both because I love mixing shit. So um, mix them both and apply them underneath my eyes because one is like really matte, one is creamier. So it gives me the nice satin finish underneath my eye as well. Underneath my eyes doesn't look too dry at the end of the day. I love this and they do not crease. They really hardly, hardly ever crease on me. They last all day on me especially if you set it really really well then um, I have the NARS uh, soft matte complete concealer and this concealer is fucking bomb you hear it's bomb um, I have it in the shade soft um, medium dark chestnut and I like it because it has such of a reddish undertone products that has a redder undertone for my skin type helps to neutralize any darkness so i like going with it underneath my eyes first before actually going with either the um with either of the nyx with, with either of the elf or the nyx concealer because it's as i said it's a soft matte so it sets pretty pretty well so it's it's like a budge proof concealer it's like assurance for your other concealer so if you're someone who has problems with your concealers disappearing throughout the day like using something of the so of a softer matter drier consistency and putting something creamier over it is gonna help it to stay in place so this is what the, this uh, concealer does for me it's it's just a, such a, a, a great good formula it covers very very well I'm pretty sure if you find one in your shade and you have, you're someone with blemishes and stuff and your spot concealer is gonna do a great job on your skin as well but I spe specifically use this one in my eyes and I'm probably gonna invest in another shade my skin tone to help um, cover up any discoloration for days when I just don't want like a lot of makeup I just want to apply some concealer and some powder and just be out the door so this is a very very nice concealer it is it's very very good next I have my MAC Studio Fix um, my MAC Studio Fix powder plus foundation this fucking long names <laughs> Anyway, it's this product right here. I have it in two shades. I have NC42 and NC45. Um, I use the NC42 for underneath my eyes. So after I would have applied my concealer, I like going in with this with a brush at first and just set that. It just creates extra assurance for my concealer 
it gives me a nice smoother softer finish because powder foundations are softer they're not that drying it's of a heavier consistency so a little bit goes along with so I just like tapping it in underneath my eyes um, to create the assurance and give me a smoother finish and I do have uh, more pores I have larger pores on the sides of my face like right here so this just fills in the pores as well and I love the look of it um, Something you can use if you want like a drugstore version of that is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible um, Powder. This does, it works really, really well. It does the same thing. I go back and forth with both of them. Um, so I use this underneath my eyes. I have it in a lighter shade in my complexion. And I have it in NC45 for my complexion shade. If you use me like a reference for products, I use NC45 for all over my skin. This is another powder foundation. It's from Makeup Forever. They recently came out with this matte velvet uh, blurring powder foundation and it really blurs your skin. It's really of a soft, soft matte finish. I love the look of it. It gives you really, really nice coverage. I've been, I push aside my NC45 MAC one for this one because it's so, so good. And like I said, um, over the summer, I've been reaching for more powder foundations, more than liquid foundations. Hence the reason why I don't have a lot of liquid foundations here to share with you as newer favorites. But um, I have my shade in Y445. It is really, really nice. So I would apply this to my face and just be out the door. It's a great product. Um, I love it. There's nothing more left to say about it. All right, so I have two setting powders. I have Huda Beauty and Fenty Beauty. These are my current two favorite setting powders. I have been using these powders for months. Now, I do not use them on their own, although you can use them on their own. Um, this one is like so light and you can bake with it and it doesn't leave underneath your eyes, underneath your eyes like dry and crepey and stuff like that, which is, I hate that look. And the Fenty one is same. It's so pro filter. It's so it's like a filter in a, in a filter in in a, in a container they're so good so i use them on the on separate you know but i prefer to mix them together i do that with all my powders because they are of different shades so i feel like when i mix them i get um i get the the look that i want i get the consistency that i want i get the best of both worlds i love doing that too i love missing mixing my uh, sasha buttercup powder and my um Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love mixing them because they are of different colors. So mixing them just gives me this nice look, this nice finish. It's just perfect. So I have my shade in Cashew from Fenty and Blondie from Buddha Beauty. So like I said, just mixing them because they are they are different colors. So mixing them together is just perfect. Cashew on its own is a very nice uh, setting powder. Um, if you don't want to go like way way bright underneath your eyes. Huda Beauty is going to give you a, a brighter on the eyes and mixing them together. Wonderful. Since we are on powders, I want to talk about this KKW Brightening Powder. I have my shade in number three. I like using this mostly at nighttime. If I can get it open, it's so difficult to open, you guys. It's this soft yellow, but it has, and of course, you don't, you're not going to see the yellow because the lights, all the lights that I have around me, hence the reason why my fan is blowing away. I'm so fucking hot. Okay? That's the noise you're hearing. It's my fan because I hate ACs so it's a soft yellow you probably could see it a little bit like this and it just add this extra brightening underneath your eyes i like it for the night time because uh in night you kind of want to go a little more dramatic with your with your makeup as compared to day that's why we have day makeup and night makeup you want things to like pop a little more because it's dark out so this powder just applying a little bit after i would have applied all my other products just gives me this little extra brightening i did use it today for my for for um after i did my makeup it just helps to mesh your highlight with your under eyes and you have this nice smooth transition with everything the look that i love because i hate to see like marks of demarcation on your face like where one thing begins and one thing ends the other day i saw this lady in the street that literally painted her face with her listen it was it's crazy it's crazy the things I see in the street sometimes so just be sure that you're blending your shit okay still on powder so I've been loving the Fenty Beauty bronzer Sunstalker bronzer and I have mine in Coco Naughty I love this this is a perfect perfect bronzer for my skin tone I think I'm gonna get the shade after it as well because I do like something deeper because when I use this I still go in with my uh, black radiance contour palette to add a little more depth and look for a color that's cooler to give me that more sunken more sculptured look and I get that when I use um, a darker color so i'm gonna invest in a darker color but for everyday look this bronzer is like bomb it's matte it's it just adds um dimension back to my skin the way i like it looking harsh 
my favorite part of, of the makeup routine is foundation. I love uh, um, concealers and I love bronzers because the foundation even does your skin um, and it makes your face flat, give you this one dimension, but the bronzer and the concealer brings the dimension back. So I think I just love adding bronzers to my face. Um, they just bring make your face look alive again. So this is the one I've been reaching for a lot lately. It's the one I've been using all summer basically together with um, the Black Radiance one that I mentioned. For blush, I love my Slick Blush Palette in the... It's Blush by 3 Palettes in Pumpkin 363. These colors are just so, so freaking amazing. I've been using Slick for years. I'm, I'm from Grenada and um, when I used to live there, uh, makeup products was very difficult to find and one brand that always I always find was sleek So I used to invest a lot in sleek product and I always loved their products and the eyeshadow and stuff like that And I still to this day have a lot of their products So I just haven't used them much on because you know new shit coming off So all the old shit gets pushed to the back, but this palette I'm holding it to the side so you could actually see how beautiful it is It's so so nice with the summer. I'm actually gonna get another one for the fall season So that will be, be more fall appropriate so it's the pumpkin 365 they blend beautifully they're very pigmented and they last so well if you don't know blush is one of the first thing that disappears from your face it's the first thing that goes but it's also one of the product that adds life and dimension back to your face so i love blush i hate to see my face without blush and contour and stuff like that it just looks too flat to me i like to see colors on my face but not anything bam in your face but this 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 um blush lasts all all day on me it really really does and i love it so Check out Slick, they have some good products. We're finally almost there. I have four palettes to mention. Five actually. These are my go-to eyeshadow palettes. They stay on my vanity. All the others I have over there in the next drawer that I will reach for when I feel like I need it. But these ones stay in my eyes because I love my neutral looks. I'm a neutral girl. I like just doing simple shit and be on the go. If you don't know by now, I don't like doing all these crazy, crazy looks every day. I don't feel like you need to be doing crazy looks to have your makeup look nice, okay? The, this palette is discontinued and I probably shouldn't mention it. It's a Carly Bible and BH palette, but I love it so much. And I'm pretty sure BH Cosmetics do have palettes that are similar to this. I just wanna bring it to your attention, but I'm not gonna talk too much on it, but this is one of my very, very, very favorite palettes to use on a daily basis. If I'm not using the Carly Bible palette, I'm using Shayla Perception palette. Both Shayla, both of the palettes, the Perception one and the Proceed with Caution. These palettes just speak to my soul. They really do. Look at them. I love this one because you have this pop of color in it. And they, they both have pop of colors, but they're just, just so, so beautiful. And you can use them any, any time of the year. They're very neutral. You can be get dramatic with it, or you can just do something very, very soft. I My favorite colors are... Let me get up something that I could point to show you my favorite colors. Of course, one two three four these are the colors i would reach for on a daily basis and they're all matte they're great transition colors they're great colors to just put all over your lid as well when you don't know what to do just reach for some different shades of matte browns and just create a look and add some definition with a black to your liner to your to your um your lashes or um a wing liner and just keep it moving this one is basically the same thing the same thing as well so i love reaching for these palettes the next one I want to talk about is the Dose of Colors Frankation Palette by Desi and Katie. And if you notice, there's a pattern with the colors here. They're all very neutral, but they all have like some pop of color in it. So when you feel like you want to do something that's just a little bit different. And I'm in love with this sort of, uh, these colors. I forget the way they call them, but these colors are just freaking amazing. My favorite color right here is this one. It's called Just a Kiss. And it really is just a kiss. You can add this to any makeup look any look and just give it a little extra something just a kiss vibe like i like using my finger like right now let me show you and just pop it over this i don't know if you can see the difference that this made but it, like i said it's just a kiss they gave it the right name so it's perfect so you can create a very neutral look with this palette or you can also go dramatic as well and that's what i love about these palettes the last palette i want to talk about is the morphe and jacqueline hill um the vault collection armed and gorgeous this one again 
basically the same but they're beautiful like these colors make make really nice for like a highlight on your 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 cheeks you don't actually have to go in and get a highlight i hope you know you can use like shimmery uh, metallic shadows and stuff as highlights as well and i love the pop of green and i love the shades of the yellows and stuff like that they're just they're just amazing amazing palettes and they're very good to have like i said because you're just always going to reach for them you understand what i'm saying colors with palettes are good when you want to have a pop of color that you have them there you can reach for them but those neutral palettes you would always always be using and i would always in, um, advise anyone to invest in neutral colors um you just cannot go wrong i don't got time every day to be blending i'm laying on one eyeshadows but i like my looks to sort of make an impact at the end of the day so i like reaching for things that are simple that's going to make my my makeup routine simple and still make an impact and have this look so i like reaching for stuff like these like this is the almy velvet cream shadow this one is the wet and wild um shimmer liquid shadow so i would apply like a brown all over my my lids and just going with this to the center of my eyes or just apply a crease color and apply one of them to my lid and then that's just that's just it it's done i have the alme one that's right there and the, the most shimmery one that's the wet and wild one so i like reaching for stuff that that are like this creamy shimmery formula um it just adds a pop to your look without any like crazy efforts so i i have a couple of these from different brands and stuff but these ones are the ones i've been reaching for a lot and i love the liquid cat suit as well this one is more of a cream base it's from wet and wild like this it's cream and just applying this all over your lid and just throwing some dark brown in your crease a lighter brown in your crease a darker brown to the outer corners and it just have a look and it's just good to go so i love things that simplifies my makeup looks so this one like i said is the wet on wild liquid cat suits it's liquid eyeshadow and this one is in the color putty in putty in my hands and trust me it is putty in my hands the other one is in the liquid cat suit one is a fairy tale ending and the alme one is um out of the woods they're very good and they're inexpensive do not sleep on these products if you're someone who wants to simplify your makeup look and you don't want to invest in those that are more pricey the drugstore has really really good products as well and plus there are always some sale happening in um the drugstores in alta cvs wherever there's always some sale so you can always catch a sale and save especially on a wet and wild and stuff they always have some sale on the products so these products are very good to have in your collection all right so i know i don't speak a lot on mascaras see i just apply mascaras i just feel like you know mascaras are i'm picky about them but i don't speak a lot about them you know what i mean but my favorite mascara for my bottom lashes is the lash accelerator from remil this is about the only mascara i use on my bottom lashes that's the only one that doesn't smudge on me every other mascara i've used smudges on my bottom lashes at the end of the day i will see this black dots it will transfer whatever the case might be and i hate that i totally hate that because i am not someone who touches up my makeup at the end of the day like that and most i probably would do is just blot some oil out and apply some blotting powder something to get rid of the shine that i've accumulated in my t-zone but i don't walk with makeup like that so i hate to see smudges so this one is tried and true i've tried a lot of different ones and they smudge on me this one doesn't i don't know what's in the formula but i specifically use this my bottom lashes and it works because i have very long bottom lashes they touch all the way down here so it just works for me and if it ain't broke why fix it and i love these two essence mascaras I'm someone who just, I don't invest a lot in mascaras. There are a lot of things in makeup that I'm just not gonna spend a shit ton of money on, okay? And mascaras is one of that. Um, these mascaras are like less than $5. They are from Essence. You find Essence in Ulta. You cannot go wrong. I lo and like I've mentioned before, I love mixing stuff. So if I don't find what I want from one, I will layer and mix with another one to get the look that I want. Like nothing is wrong with that. So I love layering mascaras and the one that I'm loving at the moment, I'm rambling, is the Essence Last Princess and the False Lash Mascara Extreme Volume and Curl, these two. But my favorite mascara of all time, I don't have it, I ran out of it, I have to repurchase it, is the Big Shot from uh, Maybelline. I love that mascara, nothing comes close to that mascara if you ask me. Since we are on eyes, I want to speak about these lashes. I bought these lashes from a brand from this site, sorry, called Shop Miss A. 
Shop Miss A, do not sleep on Shop Miss A. I heard another um, YouTuber speaking about it and I checked them out and I ordered a ship tongue and shit. Everything there is like a dollar or they're just not over ten dollars. Most of the, the stuff on the site is like a dollar. So I bought these lashes and they are freaking, ama freaking amazing. They're awesome. Amazing. They're from uh, the brand Cara Beauty. These lashes right here and then I have these ones. I don't remember who, who, who um, the brand of it but what i like about these lashes is i'm not a la i'm not lash crazy i don't wear lashes every day i don't like to feel lashes on my eyes i don't like anything that's going to make me feel uncomfortable and if you probably anyone other could probably identify to that so i will I, I don't wear lashes for that reason and some of the lashes they the band are so thick and all of that so i'm just not going to be wearing anything to make me feel uncomfortable so i love the band on these lashes they're just they make me want to wear lashes i've been wearing these lashes every day almost once i have the time like almost every day i've been wearing it for the entire day and i don't even remember that i'm wearing lashes because the band is so th is so thin you hardly you don't feel it. it and it looks so natural the the one that i bought i bought them in um the cara beauty number 83 it is just such 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 a wonderful lash they make me want to wear lashes and of course you have like the kiss lashes from the drugstore like from the beauty supplies so like you can't go wrong with kiss lashes too the band is very very thin almost invisible and that's what i like in my lashes that's what's going to encourage me to want to wear lashes i love the thin band and they still have enough fluff and volume to it so i just thought i should mention those lashes because i know i don't go really in depth with lashes and lashes is something too that i'm just not going to spend a shit ton of money on you are not going to spend 40 dollars for a lash the most i would spend for a lash is 10 dollars really because these the kiss lashes are like three dollars these ones are a dollar and I've, I've used these ones since i got it and nothing is wrong with it you understand what i'm saying so there you still can get multiple uses of it for paying a dollar for it or three dollars as opposed to forty dollars i'm not gonna spend forty dollars on lashes i'm sorry i'm not check out shop miss a they really do have some products you can try certain things and see what it is you like and last but not least not least i know i don't speak a lot about like lip liners and stuff as well but my favorite favorite lip liners for a brown skin like me if you're brown skin like me is a color pop bff three and four lip liners i love them you need them they're a necessity is what's gonna just create this really nice look on you and it's not what's gonna make you be able to wear whatever color lipstick you feel like wearing with not looking like if you had powdered donuts invest in some nice brown girl friendly lip liners so since um I'm picky about the bronze that, that, that I use and Colourpop just nailed it with the formula and with the color for me so that is what I use since I've discovered them I have not gotten any other lip liner I've been using these over and over I ordered them in a bulk so I can always have them so invest in some lip liners if you are a brown girl you will not regret it so that's it that's all my current favorite products i hope you found it informative i hope you probably will try something if you did or you have any questions leave it in the description box i will surely answer them for you thank you so much for watching hi if you're new here my name is rachel i probably would list the stuff in the description box i'm not promising to do that this time i am not promising i'm sorry all my social media links and everything will be in my description box how to book me i am a makeup artist and a nail tech follow me on my platforms see my work like comment share it really helps and i really really appreciate it help me to grow here on this, this platform so let's continue to um touch the world one face at a time and i'll see you in my next video next week Bye, guys.